I am Dr. Michel Show Sawyer. I was born here in Sierra Leone. I departed the shop Sierra Leone in 1989 before the war. I lived in New York from 1989 to about 1997. Um, in 2007, I returned back to Sierra Leone upon the invitation of the current president, His Excellency Dr. Anis Baikouma, to help in developing my country. Before the war and during the war, Sierra Leone lost about 30 to 40 percent of all our professionals, talking about engineers, medical doctors. So we could not develop the country without addressing capacity. And because this was very close to the president's heart, he created the Office of Diaspora Affairs to attract Sierra Leoneans, physically or virtually, to return home in critical sectors. See, what you have in Sierra Leone is a paradox. You have very high unemployment rate, but we also have capacity issue. Within the first year of the project, we've brought in about 21 experts in the area of tourism, in the area of mining, in the area of the health, education, environmental. As of now, I think Sierra Leone has made quite important strides in as far as their efforts towards development interventions, peace and stability. Particularly the President's agenda for change that focuses on uh, restoration of the state machine and uh, authority is one of the key areas that have been taken care of. So we had this project supported by the UNDP delivering results and accelerating public sector reform with diaspora experts and resources from the South. We have the first process of identification of demand. So in this process, the Office of Diaspora Affairs and the Human Resource Management Office, together with the ministries, departments, and agencies, they go through some rapid capacity assessment to identify the critical expert positions that are required. The categories of the expertise is in terms of uh, technical advisors, we have policy advisors, we have monitoring and evaluation experts, they also need to be strong monitoring and evaluation program because you need to make sure that those that are coming in, that they are delivering on their deliverables. This is the only part that you're going to show that, okay, it was worthwhile to pay this high salary to diaspora experts to return. There are so many problems in terms of paying expatriates in this country, but with the help of the diaspora office, and with collaboration with the UNDP. We are in a position to pay these experts who are now in a position to train our people. And as long as we are in a position to train Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone will become a better place. The background and the expertise that these experts are bringing in were lacking in country. For example, in the health sector, we have an anesthesiologist that's in country who is a diaspora. Before her, there was not too many anesthesiologists, I believe, maybe another one or two in country. So she's done a lot of training to nurses. She has actually written a book for nurses, for anesthesiologists, that she's taking all over the country to the provincial headquarters, training individuals or training nurses how to be anesthesiologist nurse. In the aviation sector, um, we brought in two aviation expertise, flight inspector and uh, airworthiness inspector. We lost our ICAO license because we did not have such um, expertise in country. Without the diaspora, the Civil Aviation Authority of Sierra Leone will not, and I don't think will ever be in place. Diaspora has played a very important role in making sure that the Civil Aviation Authority of Sierra Leone is recognized in Africa and worldwide. Uh, Sierra Leone is beginning to be recognized and as a country that's making efforts to improve its aviation safety. And uh, this definitely has attracted uh, operators into the industry. Part of the required training for these new cadets will be for us to send them on a ICAO approved training school whereby they can qualify as aircraft maintenance engineers. The project has created some kind of excitement out there and I'm seeing the expectations of the diaspora community from the diaspora unit office here are far beyond what the project can offer. As of now, 
we're looking at the diaspora office to expand its mandate into rebranding the image of Sierra Leone as well as tapping into the migrant remittances as one of the issues that are coming up. Goodwill saying that in anything that we're doing, you have to put forward what are the best practices. And today, Sierra Leone is looked upon in the diaspora area as a best practice, and we're going to continue to push that forward.